Hey everyone, it's Rad, and I want to thank Keen for they are the sponsor of this video. And don't skip ahead, for I do have a special and exciting announcement to uh, make, including a very, very special gift for anyone who is watching, which I will get to it a uh, soon. For those who doesn't know Keen, this amazing website provides you with an access to a vetted psychics, spiritual advisors who can provide a guidance and insight in into life's challenges, into clarity in love, into relationships, and as well into career and, and many, many more. And Keen, it is a one of the most uh, affordable way to get an instant psychic reading with a professional at any time, 24 seven. What I love about Keen is that it is perfect for anyone who wants to talk with someone right away, anytime, anywhere there is no wait and it is excellent if you do have a burning question that literally needs an answer right now and it is double perfect for if you are on a budget too and here is where my gift for you guys is coming in for anybody who wants to talk with advisor on keen just click my link in the description down below and you get a 10 minutes for just only two dollars and just see for yourself for i do support keen and i have been around the block a lot when it comes to um psychics readers and especially prophets and i can tell you that there are those who are false but uh judging by the way keen found me i can tell you that they are venting their uh advisors uh, very carefully and you i do encourage you to try it out especially if you do have questions that i cannot answer like for example about health like for example about a reallocation because Saro is just not designed for that uh, for example as well yes or no questions as well guys it's only two dollars for 10 minutes and i cannot think of a better way to try it out and uh, get the clarity you seek so there are a uh, tarot readers, psychic readers, uh, love and relationship advisors, and as well spiritual advisors there. Uh, and you can take your time to make a selection of the reader of your choice, establish a bond, which is going to establish as well a goal, be it a uh, intention setting, be it a, a chakra clearing, be it healing, manifesting, and many, many more. And what is also amazing there is that Keen provides every customer of theirs with a monthly discount, which is a um, clearly a way to show you that they do appreciate you being there and it also provides you with a way to afford multiple readings should you need so the signing up process very simple i'm going to show you how all that you have to do is just watch my screen very few simple clicks for their website it is made intuitively and it's just you cannot get it wrong and just in these few simple clicks you are get yourself ready to make your selection of uh, readers and dive into your spiritual journey right away so to use my gift just click in the link in the description box and get your 10 minutes with a keen advisor of your choosing for just only two us dollars and and see for yourself how amazing they really are with the variety of their uh, advisors and as well the prices which have a ton of variety too should you be on a budget thank you keen for sponsoring this video Sagittarius, welcome to the channel and in this video we're going to check into your experience for the week uh, 28th of uh, February up until the 6th of March 2022 and uh, if you do enjoy the content of the channel guys and you appreciate my work if you do wish to support me all you have to do is just subscribe for it uh, click the notification bell so you keep up with uh, our weekly uploads and as well fly in the law live streams and uh, also leave a like if you really like uh, the video so with that said let's check into uh, your week and what do we have uh, so the first card that is going to be the eight of wands uh, followed by the second one here of the five of swords uh, moving next uh, we do have the seven of pentacles uh, afterwards is going to be the star and uh, the last one that we do have that is going to be the ten of wands uh, a very interesting reading Sagittarius to be honest uh, <clears throat> I don't know where to start from 
because the reading is not going to start positive J just to tell you and uh if you stick up to the second part of it you will see that things are getting much better but the reason for that is going to be none other than you right because the very start of the reading with these three cards that we do have okay uh, with these three it kind of shows that you are trying way too hard disregarding red flags and signs okay it, it, it is just with these three cards it shows that you are it's all for, for some of you maybe even a desperate drive to accomplish certain things without second guessing its worth its value and as well how much you can gain from it for what you are investing into it and also you are not stopping for a second to think of oh they, maybe there is a, a better way to do it or right? maybe there is a smarter way to do it or more alleviating way to do it so uh however afterwards it seems that you're gonna find your way and uh by doing so, whether it is to find your way to attract love in life or to find your way to get easier on work or to make money, whatever way you are trying to find here, uh, Sagittarius, uh, it will be very promising by the look of the last two cards. And under promising, I mean it will have a lot, a, a lot to offer to you. But starting up the week with the Eight of Wands, it is just there are going to be so many things moving around you. It is just there, go, there is going to be activity after activity multiple activities happening at once and you may find yourself being torn in between all these activities feeling the incentive to be everywhere at all times which is pretty much impossible and to give maximum out of yourself to everything that you do encounter which again it's it may be possible but it is pointless because you are wasting energies into a meaningless stuff and that's why it's very important that at the start of the week here the very first thing you need to do is to change your mindset into when you are to involve yourself into something once you do consider it when you start considering it or the first thing needs to be that you should start considering it instead of saying yes immediately <clears throat> So when you start considering it, you need to be objective about your gains. It's just that is how it stands. It may sound selfish, but if you do not take care for your own well-being, believe me, guys, nobody else is going to. It's just none other but you. And that is how you need to start your week. I mean, there, there is going to be a, a lot of chances for you, but not all of them are meant for you. Some of these chances are actually meant to get more from you than give you at the end and you end up losing in the grand scheme of things and thus what this leads you to it is the next card which is the five of swords so that card could be read in multiple ways and i'm gonna just stick to the general here as this is a general reading five of swords it is when you understand how far your limits are stretching and therefore you avoid bitter victories by choosing not to have those wars or those battles that is if you do have the right mindset though and that is the positive outlook of the card where you are the middleman okay but if you do decide that you want it at all cost whatever it is whether it is a love project or a relationship or a job you are going to have it, but the cost, it will be more than you know. Unless you are, uh, again, objective about how much you can do without damaging your current possessions, yourself, wasting energies, and, and so on and so forth. And this is the moment here where you are going to start questioning yourself with the seven of uh, with the seven of pentacles is everything i do the way i do it really worth it i mean am i for example am i really going to get that raise regardless the time putting 57 hours of work every single week i'm staying every single day two hours on top of my working time without any compensations for it with the good intentions that one day somebody is gonna uh, notice that and you will say hey 
This person deserves a promotion. They, they deserve a raise. They deserve compensation. Okay. So the, these kind of questions, it is what you're going to start asking yourself. And when you see that there is no reciprocal return, right? You are trying to approach somebody with love, but you see that they just don't reciprocate. When you try to be more giving into work, but you see that your salary is shrinking and shrinking and you will see, you will see no reason to, to carry on that way. It's just with the seven of pentacles, the balance in between the giving and taking is going to be restored, but not in a, how can I put it into words, in a normal levels. What I mean is that if you see that something is giving you a lot, you're going to start feeling the incentive to give a lot as well. But if you see that something is giving you very little with that, despite how much you are throwing into it, well, at the middle of the week, probably you're going to say to yourself, wait a second, why am I doing that to myself? You give me that little, you give me ignorance, well, take your ignorance then and you are to approach, if that's even an approach, a person with ignorance too. It's just the reciprocation that is going to settle. And once that settle, uh, the star card takes place and that will be the end of your worries, okay? Because the star card, literally, it is the ending of an era of a turmoil. I'm explaining that into my tarot classes, but pretty much the tower is over, okay? And now the sky is clear. You do have the symbol of the star, which is the symbol of hope. You do have the bird on the tree, which is the sign for new spring coming in as well the the woman is naked which is the openness toward the future and so many more um symbols but what the star really represents it is that now you are going to carry on according to your ideals and to your standards and to just you're going to be completely satisfied with how things are unfolding because for once this time around sagittarius you will have the uh, and I don't know how to place things into words here, guys, so I hope I am not misunderstood with that. But it is just your aim fulcrum. A, a goal is going to be reciprocal to what is possible, but that doesn't mean that your goal is going to be low, right? It could be a huge one, but it's going to be accomplishable without any problems along the way whatsoever. And thus the star card in a practical way could be interpreted as a very long-term job with prospect to climbing the ladder of the hierarchy to a point almost to the ceo post or a love that it starts unfolding and it's just carry on all the uh how can i put it into words or the ideals you do have for the love in and again the star card is something slowly developing it unfolds itself with the future but what is good about the card is that at that point you will see exactly where you are going to and i do believe that you are going to freaking like it okay you will be signing up with your boat with with both of your hands for it because we do have the 10 of ones afterwards and that cards shows your complete dedication to the enterprise okay the 10 of pen the 10 of ones it pretty much it is when you take on the uh, amazing opportunity here which is going to be very gaining for understanding its demands and realizing or rather like finding out that these demands are completely uh how do you how do you call it acceptable taking on your responsibilities toward these demands fulfilling these demands and getting the rewards at the end it's just there isn't anything better to be felt like as that your work your efforts paid off I just there isn't a a better feeling of it and what is important however to be said about the ten of wands although people feel and interpret it like this card it is like you are overwhelmed or overburdened should i say that may be the case because at that stage you may not know the full scale of what you are getting yourself into but being overwhelmed it is a matter of perspective and it's a matter of of uh priorities and so you may be able to rearrange your priorities in a way that you are not going to feel overwhelmed the bottom line however of the ten of wands it is that once you get into this there is no going back from it and you have to keep up with the game because the game is going to worth it whether it is a love game or a business game is going to worth your time it's going to worth your while
So with that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.